Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and the angle of attack. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Before we jump in, um, someone made this uh, this nice little remix or whatever my four year old of my four year old saying buy Bitcoin again not financial advice uh, buying right now is incredibly risky and I'm not buying right now but I thought this was this was pretty funny take a listen to to this buy Bitcoin. There it was. Um, anyways, let's get down to business. Uh, so, the angle of attack, right? If you're if you're an aerospace engineer, I'm sure you're familiar with angle angle of attack. But the idea is at what at what angle are we attacking uh, these prices? And one of the things we know with with crypto or with any any um, uh, you know price action, well, I mean, it obviously depends on your aspect ratio. You know, if you if you draw an angle like this, um, let's actually uh, let's draw it so it matches one of these. Let's say we draw an angle from here up to this point. It's 70 degrees. But you can see as you change the aspect ratio, obviously that angle can change. So you have to pick a given aspect ratio and then we just compare accordingly. Okay, so we're just going to be, be doing some very speculative um, comparisons on the angle of attack. So, um, interestingly, if we and we're gonna let's say use we're gonna use this this resolution right here okay you could use any resolution uh, the, the point is we want to keep the resolution the same as we can make comparisons so the angle of attack from 10k up to around 20k was around 72 degrees from here our angle of attack is now 84 degrees so you can see that in fact our angle of attack is has gone up. We're moving up a lot quicker. We're using a logarithmic scale. We're moving up even quicker than we were earlier on. We Our angle of attack went from 72 to 84. Now we're going to take a, a move from say this point and look at our angle of attack. This is to the to the top of the final candle, 74 degrees. But if we took it to the top of the wick, it was 77. However, the market conditions right now do not at all it seemed to be mimicking what happened in 2019 um, but more so what happened maybe over here um, and one of the things we can do is we can look at well the angle of attack let's look at the angle of attack so for instance the angle of attack from this bottom to the final peak was around 86 degrees so we're in that you know that accelerated growth phase uh, again we don't know how many more weeks it will last but of course, there will come um, there will come a time where it will it will turn back down. There have been other times as well uh, where we had angles of attack like this throughout the market cycle. The the one of the main ones to note is the impressive move we had after breaking the prior all time high. The prior all time high was around eleven hundred dollars. This angle of attack was around seventy eight degrees. And during that time, after we broke the prior all-time high and went on this rally, we, we rallied from the bottom around 235% before having a 40% correction. And this was after Bitcoin broke the prior all-time high, which was around 11, I, I believe it was around 1184, if memory serves me correct. Um, maybe someone can correct that if I'm if I'm slightly off, but it was around that level. So leading into that final move, our angle of attack with this aspect ratio was around 78 degrees. We had a 20 235% move up, followed by a 40% correction. So the price moved up to $3,000, and then we had a correction, 41% down to 1768. So 235, 41 degrees with a 78 degree angle of attack. Now what we're gonna do is we see that this is 72 degrees and 84 degrees. What if we just combine these into a single angle of attack? We're also going to overlay our prior all time high, right? Our prior all time high around this level. So what if we were to just 
take a trend angle from the bottom right here before we started gearing up and moving, you can see that's approximately 78 degrees as we cross through and where we currently are. Obviously, there's a bit of hand waving going on here, starting it all the way down here rather than starting it up here, but you know, you get the general idea. So around 78 degrees here, around 78 here, we had a 235% move right there. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a 285% move uh, and see how close, where we are today. So from the bottom here, we're up about 300% from, from this point right here. Uh, once the move started really gearing up, we're up around 272%. So the, again, the idea that this type of a move has, has never happened is not, it's just simply not true. We, we've seen these types of moves before. And in fact, we saw that type of move back in March of, of 2017. One thing to keep in mind is that we crossed our prior all time high um, and did not look back in the short term anyways. We crossed it in, um, well, we first hit it in January, we crossed above it in February, and then the final time we moved past it was in April, okay? Um, here, we hit it in December, and we've, we've, con we've continued our move that we started all the way back down here. So the idea here is, well, if, the, you know, if, this, if we are going to see a 40% correction, or where would that be as measured from the current time, right? Where would it be if suppose it started at 40K? Where would a 40% correction take us? Well, a 40% correction from 40K would take us just down to around $23,000, $24,000. If the price of Bitcoin were to rally even higher, let's suppose that it went to say 50K, and then we had a 40% correction, then we would be looking at around a $30,000 uh, Bitcoin. Now, this market cycle will, of course, have a, you know, a slightly different flavor, slightly different characteristics than the last market cycle. Obviously, comparing them exactly uh, is, not, you know, is not really that useful. But we're just trying to learn you know, what has happened in the past. Have we seen these types of moves? And if we have, how, how do they stack up? One thing we can do is we can take a bar pattern from say this point and go up here and overlay that over, over this move. And you can see there are a lot of similarities, right? There are a lot of similarities between, between these two moves. If we, you know, if we ended it the same way, it might imply closer to a $44,000 Bitcoin. Um, we'll see what happens. Of course, we'll see what happens. No one really knows where the top is. I sure as hell don't. Uh, but if you guys like the content, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, Check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. We also have the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. You'll find a link to that in the description below as well if you want access to all the premium content. And there's a lot of it. So make sure you guys check that out. At the very least, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also turn on your alerts um, just in case you, you want to see future videos. The reason why I'm slightly stalling right now is because I'm, I'm waiting to see if, if the price of Bitcoin here is going to, to pop above 39.9 and take us back to 40K. We hit 40K earlier today. Um, you know, if you go to the one hour time frame, auto this out, we hit 40K earlier. We had a pretty sharp correction back down to 36, which by the way is a 10% is a correction. Um, you know, if you, if you think about this, you know, 10% of, of 40 grand is, is $4,000. You know, we had we just had about a 10% correction earlier today, and we've since basically recovered, and we've moved back up at present time 10%, a little over 10%. The actual peak here was over 40k at around 40,425 on on this exchange, um, but right now we're at 39,000, a little over 39,000. So it could be that we are about to cross 40k again, and if it does. We'll keep a close eye on that and, and try to navigate that. So subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.